Hello, hello, and welcome back to another solo leveling Arise video. In this one, I wanted to quickly go over the shop priority for low spenders or small dolphins, not whales, but people like me that are playing this game right now and want to buy some things, but want to make sure they only buy the most valuable things. We will go over that in this quick video. So to start off with, if you are a small spender, definitely start off with buying these. These are the two main monthly sub packages. Uh, this is in my uh, currency based on IP here. So don't mind that. I use VPNs because of connection issues. But this is like nine bucks. This is like six bucks or ten and nine bucks. Uh, usually, I get this these discounts because of uh, already having bought it, but the main price is like 10 and 9 bucks. Let's say you added some taxes, it's like 20 bucks for these two packages for a monthly sub. These two, though, are pretty good, right? They give you a custom draw ticket every day for this one, so you get 28 normal summons. Very good value, right? You get special sweeps for the gate, which means you can get your gates done much more quickly with 5 free sweeps, plus it means you can do any stage, even if the stage might not be possible for you to do manually. That's good. And it also gives you the special sweep, which is an extra six hour of activity fund, resources every day, and some other buffs to the funds you get. So this is a pretty good, pretty good package, right? Then we have the daily essence stones here. Or essence stone support and these are also pretty good right? you get 200 uh, essences or whatever it's called per day so 5600 a month it's like 22 or so pulls of the premium pulls right so that's not bad you get this daily package which yes i know you can see the ssr weapons in here but believe me you will not get these these are 0 0.1 per meaning it's 0.6 percent so most likely you will not get anything along those lines Though you do have an okay chance, a total of like a, what, 3, 4, like a 10% chance to get Essence Stones, so that's not too bad. Also, these give keys, which also is not bad at all, because those are good for, of course, gaining more gear to continue leveling. And of course, also a gate key. So, all of these things here are okay to get, and the Rune Fragments also okay to get for leveling or getting Skill Stones, etc. So these, no, not the most amazing, but at least you get one for free every day. So maybe you're lucky and pull something good. Of course, if you pull any sort of SSR weapon in a month here, you'll be really good, right? Outside of that, you get a right support chest. Yeah, you get 50,000 gold, whatnot, a day. I guess this is. I forgot. But also pretty good value. Gold is very useful. And, well, you get the diamonds here as well which are pretty good to buy you know you, you can use these to buy things in the shop or you can use them to buy the premium version of the battle pass which this is just enough to cover as i believe the battle pass is 1500 gems for the premium not the like extra premium version but the normal premium version that covers this so in anyhow if you're a low spender definitely get these two to start after that these are, like, not that useful. None of these, I think, are that good. These are more like whale bait. Of course, if you're wearing costumes like I do, then you can get the, the chai in costume here. Now, these packages, the step-up packages and the relay packages, these are going to be pretty good value. Uh, also, if you're curious about the currency here, just divide it by 10 or dollar amounts. So that's $10. I can't see these, but... Anyhow, you get like more and more resources per step up package here. So if you are wanting to invest, let's say, a hundred dollars in this game or 150, I think you should be definitely be getting these packages. Like, let's say you're gonna spend a hundred bucks in this game in the first month, then getting the relay and step up packages here, pretty good value. Whereas here for the normal summons and here for the rate up summons. Also, here you get what one, two, you get four, so you get a whole SSR weapon of choosing getting these three packages. Oh, of course, the last one here as well. You can buy with gems. Really good value. So you just buy these one by one and get the resources. Plus, here, the gold. Huge, right? Gold is a big, big crunch in this game. 
So being able to get all that extra gold is going to be massive for you. And just the crystals as well in general will be really good for being able to buy whatever you want. That might be in the shop for gems. So this, you know, these packages, really good. Great for gold, good for resources. So if you want to spend about 100 bucks, get these. Level ups, these are okay. They aren't amazing in my opinion, but they're pretty okay. So you can see about buying some of these if you have the extra gems from the step up and level packages. The double ups here, well, they're usual double ups. I don't even think they're anything special, right? Then we have the missions. These are also overall good value. So if you want to get the story clear packs and whatnot, they're not too bad, I feel like. But here we're like in a territory of if you're going to spend, you know, 200, 300 bucks, right? So they were definitely in like dolphin territory. So I would definitely do these ones after the step ups here. Now, outside of this or these packages here, we have the bonus section. Now here I have a very specific suggestion and that is to simply buy one of these $1 packages, like buy both of these every single day, or one of these if you only want to buy one, buy the special draw ticket package. And after 10 days, you will get sale here for free. And that is really good value. It will cost you $10, but you will get for that like 10 rate up tickets here. Or also if you buy both of these a day to get her in five days, you'll get some gate keys and stuff as well. But you will get also, resources along the way, 150,000 gold. Here's a, here's a free 10 pull as well for the rate-up. And just getting this as a low spender, again, if you're going to spend like 50 bucks or something or less on this game when you start playing, then definitely do this. $10, get free SAO, really good, like S-plus unit. And you just get some good resources along the way too. You can also go for the plume here at 30 but that's more for dolphins if you want to spend 30 bucks and get these other resources along the way. Not the best, but very okay still if you want to be more of a low to medium spender. Now, otherwise here, these are the general shops, which I'm not going to cover in this guide because they aren't paid. At least not directly. And then we will also cover the battle pass, which is definitely something you want to buy if you are a low spender and want to stay in that 50 or so dollar range a month at least now here you have the premium battle pass which i believe is about 1500 gems so if you get the two subscriptions we talked about at the start of the video this will basically perfectly cover getting the premium battle pass you won't have to get any other extra resources or currency to buy this and you can see here the premium battle pass has a lot of good resources you have pulls you have level up mats you have gold especially and many other good things here you also have the deluxe, which I believe is what I think is like 25 bucks, 30 bucks, if I'm not remembering incorrectly. That's also a pretty good deal as you get what 54 or something uh, premium summons. And you also get a epic rune here, I believe it is, at the end. So the premium definitely clearly worth if you're going to spend 50 bucks a month. Deluxe will probably get you just over the $50 a month amount. But I think this is also going to be a very high value thing for you to get if you are like a low spender, 50-ish dollars a month. Now, the last thing I want to cover here is another thing you definitely, definitely want to get. And that is the what, subscription or whatever you want to call it. See if I can find it here. Uh, let's see. Is it here? No. But it is the subscription for $10 a month, which I do believe is separate, right? I do believe that is separate, is it not? Anyhow, there's a $10 subscription package, which I do believe is different from the two in the store here. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I do believe it is not the same. And that package costs like $10, and it gives you one ticket to use in this special summon every month, which means you can draw like 15 or 30 times every month uh, to try to get an SSR. And you can just pick the summon that you got the best in. Like, I got this one this month, right? And then you just pick that. So you get one ticket for the $10. Plus you also get, like, a one pull a day. And you get to choose a reward. Which can be gold, for example, which I pick every single day right now. And a few other options. So that is definitely also a very, very high priority. And if you pick up just the highest priority items I just talked about. Then we'll be talking a... 
you know, like 10, 18, like 28, around 30. And then if you add in the deluxe battle pass, it'll be at about 50. Close to 50, 50 to 60 bucks a month. Which is, you know, not nothing. It's definitely money, right? It's uh, not nothing, but it is still pretty good value if you want to spend some in this game to gain a good edge over the competition and to just progress your account faster, a good bit faster, and just get extra dupes of units and resources and all that good stuff. So these are my recommendations if you are a small spender or a medium spender. Again, if you want to spend, let's say, more than 50 bucks, you want to spend closer to 100 bucks or maybe even 150, then you can definitely go for the step-ups first here, the relay and step-up pack, both of these, maxing them out. And then after that, again, if you want to get more stuff, and want to spend, you know, a few hundred dollars to three hundred dollars, then you can look at getting these fairly good value packs with story clear and whatnot. That being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about the shop or store or whatever else, feel free to leave those in the comment section down below. I hope you got some value out of this video covering the most valuable things to get in the shop here for low spenders specifically. I wanted to really target people like me that only want to spend a certain amount, not just go overboard even if they can. Anyhow, I hope you found value in this video, and I will see you next time in another Solo Leveling Arise video. So, till then, see you. Bye-bye.